It's really important to prove your dog staying for duration, length of time, the distance you are away from the dog, and distractions. If we start with duration. You ask the dog to sit, stay for one second. Good boy, you release him. Then for two seconds, and then for three seconds, then five. A real tip is use a stopwatch. Then you absolutely know what are your dog's capabilities and what is your dog's personal best. And, and it is no big thing at all for a dog to do a five minute sit stay, a 20 minute down stay when trained this way and to be happy about doing it. Periodically give good feedback to the dog. That's a very nice down stay, thank you. And you gotta be on the ball should that dog even think of breaking the stay. If his eyeballs go like that, you know next thing his head's gonna go like that, then his nose will go like that and then he will go like that. He, he's gone, he's history. So as soon as he looks away, say, Rover, sit. An instructive distance reprimand. So that means he has to understand these distant signals. Otherwise, saying it is a waste of time. So praise him while he's staying. Instant reprimand if he looks like he's breaking. Then we practice at a distance. You step back from the dog, you come back, you praise him. You step back two steps, come forward, praise him. Then three steps, five steps, ten steps, and so on. We do it progressively because you leaving the dog will make him want to break and then you coming back to the dog will make him want to break because he thinks the stay is over. So practice leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back till you get to great distances. Until you can walk around him when you're 25 yards away or 40 yards away or 50 yards away. Then distractions, bit by bit. Think of the things that will make the dog break. Basically the hardest is if you act silly or if you get down on the ground. If you try and get down on the ground on all four paws and go up to your dog and kiss him on the nose, he's likely to break. So do these things very, very gradually. Then of course other people around, other dogs around, toys around, rolling tennis balls, dropping food treats and, and all stuff like that. And very important to proof your dog against someone shouting, come here. You don't want your dog to run to them, do you? No. That's why we always teach a dog, rover, sit. That means Rover sit until the next instruction, which will always start with your name, Rover. You must proof the dog only respond to words that start with his name.